Yasim Zanzi, welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And let me tell you, the person we are about to chat to right now can make you feel so good, especially if you open up your ears. Because joining us is a Liam van der Heide. Now, he's an emerging singer, a songwriter who has decided to follow his passion for music, and we are so grateful for it. So just to give you a little taste of what we're talking about, have a listen and check this out. I turned away, stars on your harbor. I turned away, since I found a land. I turned away, stars on your harbor. I turned away, since I found a land. I grew up, I can't do ya. Can we give him yeah. a big round of applause? Yeah. This is this is on behalf of all the yes. people walking on the prom that didn't applaud for you on that day because they should have, man. <laughs> that you've now made famous. Leah, welcome to this little slice yeah, of crazy. You. Uh, you must be crazy, bud. You're going all in. A career in music? Are you yes. insane? <laughs> um, buddy, just give us a window into that process. Why have you decided to go all in? Obviously, the talent speaks for itself, but there is a deeper resonance here. Why music for you? Yes, yeah, so I found that I had a lot of fleeting passions over the years, um, but music was one that really sticked um, through all of them. And I, I found that during my exam time when I was supposed to study, <laughs> all this music inspiration was coming, so I ended up making music instead of studying. So oh, like, I was like, it, it's just meant to be. I need to, need to <laughs> just, go to music. Just meant to be. Wait, let's talk about the studies mm. for a bit. Conservation ecology, mm. something that piques my interest and something that I love when it comes to, it's not that standard thing that you would study, right? What was the studies like? I mean, why choose that when you... Well, firstly, I know you've got this passion, like, calling you, but you still got to find and choose something that still resonates with you in the meantime. Why choose that out of all things? So, um, I've always been passionate, passionate about the environment. Mm. Um, initially, marine biology, but that was a way into it, basically. Um, but basically, yeah, I've, I love the creation, and I love um, analyzing it, preserving it. Um, which is one of my passions. I have many passions, by the way. Uh, yeah, you, got that, you got that creative brain, man. <laughs> and let it flow. I think this is the joy of the world that we live in right now. As you are, and we joke about this all the time, you can be mm. professionally yourself. Mm. And that can be represented in different career lanes, in different mm. guises. But it stems from kind of a purpose, something that gets you fired up and gets you going. When you talk about that musical creative journey, and we know you've got a song in the works at the moment, Your Mind is, is um, hopefully going to be released to the world, and I'm hoping you'll give us just a little a snippet of it a little bit later in the show. But the creativity, when you've got to put something down, where does that come from? How does your creative process work? So it, it stems from, I think, me eating like a beat on the desk while I'm studying, I think, specifically for music. So then I'm like, nah, I need to record this beat. <laughs> and then it, it's just, it's like music in my head the whole time. But does yeah, that just like so come out? But only when he's studying, eh? Only when he's studying. You're going to have to do about nine or ten degrees throughout your life and just keep going and just see what beats come to you when you're studying archaeology. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it. Uh, but, I, but I love that. That's something that reminds you of that like sort of jovial raw period that I had. I remember being at school and we would say the same thing, Jens, come, let's cup a beat. And you just kind of go with it and you see what comes out. And Precisely. you are answering that call more than just having fun, more than just like, yes, you're taking it on as a passion, career. as a yes. career. And in that moment, this is where I want to ask the question, because that's that pivotal moment where you decide, okay, cool, I want to make a career out of this. Mm -hmm. I want to present myself to the world. How do you determine and define what you are going to give to the world, yeah, right? Exactly. This is your first time to present yourself with your image, with your music, with your style, with someone as creative as you, with someone that I believe can master almost any genre. How do you determine exactly what I'm going to penetrate the market with to make myself known, that arrival moment? How do you, how do you get that right? So um, what I plan to do and what I, what I aim to do is to um, really advertise South Africa mm. and sort of the integration of the different cultures um, in South Africa through my music. Um, and I plan to just create music that is relatable, um, Love relatable that, yeah. to a lot of people. Okay. There has been an inversion in the way that you can engage with your market now. And at first, when TikTok started putting its hand up, and we were like, ah, but it's just another social media platform. It's not real. These aren't real artists. And then you start seeing artists starting their career in TikTok, mm. sold out, global tour. We've had artists come to South Africa that no one knew based yeah. purely on their TikTok back end. 
when you think about that opportunity, and, and you are speaking to individuals, so that's the joy of online, is you're speaking to that one person, possibly at the worst moment of their day, of their life, mm -hmm. your music gets to be that plug-in. Do you think about the other platforms? It's not just about getting a single out there and getting it onto radio anymore. You've got to engage. How do you feel about the opportunities in TikTok, in Wheels, in using that space around you, man? So I feel TikTok and Instagram and all those, um, they provide a brilliant opportunity for anybody. Just It just starts off by posting what you do. You don't even have to... Just get um, going. Just, yeah. You just post what you do, basically. Um, and if you're passionate enough, if you're hardworking enough, people will start noticing that you're going somewhere. So just put yourself out there. You never know what will happen. For sure. Um, yeah. You never know. I mean, look where it ended up for you. And it's yes. just getting started, bro. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I love asking this question to some of the new talent that we get to see on the show because crazy things can materialize. And myself and G have seen manifestation play out in the craziest ways, bro. Yeah. So you need to jump on this bus with us right now. I'm going to ask you this question, and I want you to be careful with how you answer this because it will materialize, all right? <laughs> so when it comes to your career, when it comes to how you envision yourself, who do you see yourself? performing with where do you see that performance happening and uh, describe it for me man because this is going to happen it's gonna it's gonna take place it's gonna manifest yeah. yeah so what I see myself uh, who I see myself performing with one day um, someone that I looked up to a lot okay. is Ed Sheeran definitely oh, nice Ed Sheeran. yeah perfect um, because I, I like the, the variety of music that he's involved yeah. with even if it's like in the background production and so I just like his um, his variety and where are you going to perform it? What are we going to be singing about, bro? Come on, give Ooh, me something here. Yeah. Let me think. Let me think of that one. <laughs> you know the song, Perfect. Perfect. And I just want to sing that song with him one day. Yes. Maybe he'll fly to South Africa to, to perform I it see, with yeah, you. Yeah. I would love that. Uh, in fact, <laughs> let's, let's send him a little love note right now. Liam, we're going to let you go and take your spot on the stage. You can head off and go and get your awesome. head and your heart and your spirit in the zone. Go and pick up your guitar. Um, we cannot wait to plug you into this young man's incredible talent. Um, and I'm just saying that um, Ed Sheeran lo loves South Africa. He's, he's not trying to come out there and do a little bit of mentoring, you know? <laughs> and if, especially if he sees that guy's face. I mean, if you just think about Liam, the way he talks about his music, you can see how he lights up. Real. You can see he's got a secret he's hiding that he's waiting <laughs> to share. And I'm telling you, the moment is just about to arrive. And this is what it's all about. Celebrating young talent, celebrating the potential of our South Africans, and looking at moments like this and realizing that it's a stepping stone to greatness. This oh, is sure. one moment of many that will come that it's going to absolutely change not only your life but Liam's too. It's my feel good show. Oh man, I'm having an absolute blast getting to know our performer this morning. Liam Farahader has been amazing so far in his performances, but even better for me to plug into someone who is so young and motivated. He's an emerging singer, songwriter who has just gotten going. He has decided to go all in on his passion for music, but he's got such an incredible kind of background and so many tools to play with in this space. So thank you so much for sticking around and continuing the conversation with us. I've got to ask, first of all, how did that feel, young man, being able to sit there, perform songs that you love and you feel so deeply? What was that like? It felt amazing, I must say. But I must say, it's, it's a humbling um, uh, thing that comes to mind. It's like when I'm performing a song, Everything does disappear around me, and it just feels like I'm performing at home. So I do feel very calm. I'm not so sure if you could see it, yeah. but I become completely comfortable when I start singing. You go into um, that inner space, yeah. Yes, and and, so and that's a marker of some of the greatest music. I'm talking Callum Scott's, some of the best vocalists in the world who come here. And because we don't have a massive audience, a stadium full of people, you've got to go inward. And you yeah. see something truly remarkable, authentic about that. I love it. There is an opportunity now to have a, and I saw you chatting to Lissetti, there, there is content creation collaboration opportunity. There are social media opportunities to reach bigger audiences. And mm -hmm. if you think of your own journey now within the music space, within the content creation space, within the, the conservation space, all of these areas that you're expanding through, who do you want to work with locally? If, if you could have your superhero team around you, what would that look like, man? So, uh, sort of, I would like to actually get involved with government in some really? way um, yes because I believe there's a lot that can be done better um, there's a lot that we've learned in my degree that um, could have done better or resources could have gone to better places um, just if they were more inspired by the science um, sure. and not just 
all the politics. Yeah, all of the politicking. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. And around this time of the year, as we approach an election, the politicking yeah. just goes off the charts, and it and it kind of does dispel a lot of your faith because you're like, oh, but yeah. you're just saying this to get votes, and I get that, um, yeah. but you back it up with the science. Now you have an opportunity to help guide other young people, your contemporaries, even older artists, with this this way of thinking that you do. How do you see your music? being able to do that. Is that something that you've thought about, the power? Because you give us the words to feel, really. That's what you, you musicians do for those of us who are not musically gifted at all. Is there a purpose behind your music? So I have thought about it a few times um, to integrate my sort of purpose with protecting the environment with my music. Um, but for now, the ideas and the inspiration that comes in the form of music doesn't tend to take on such a, a route. Um, but I do tend to um, think that I'll get into that one day where I would cross the two over, basically, the music and um, protect the environment. I love it, man. But look, you're a young man. You've got big feelings. You've got to sort those out, man. So sing about your feelings now. Um, and he is going to be singing about his very big feelings. And, of course, I'm hoping, giving us just a little snippet of some new music on the way.